Here with Jim Brennan, Toronto FC uh, assistant coach. Jim, um, being quite an off-season for the team, you know, what are your thoughts on all the, the new players and the, the sort of new sense of, uh, of hope and excitement around we're, the uh, We're excited. There's a, a lot of work's going on in the off-season. Um, and to see all the, the players that, you know, that we've targeted come in now, is, uh, it's exciting for us. We're really looking forward to, to getting the season going now. Um, you know, we've got depth all over the park now in, in every position, which is, which is great. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited. It's, it's a lot of work's gone into it. It's credit to, to Ryan Nelson as well and Fran. They've done, a, they've done a great job as well getting these guys in. And, and now it's, it's time to work. And, you know, you're the first player signed by the club. And, uh, you know, you've been here. You've been one guy who's been here since the beginning. You know, how much are you looking forward to, like, the success that's now ex yeah, expected? Yeah, I, I, I can't wait. Um, you know, you're right. I've been here from day one, so I've seen, uh, seen pretty much everything. Um, but now I'm, I'm, I'm excited to to see what's going to happen here in the future now because the, the squad that we have and the talent, um, you know, we, we've waited a long time to get these types of players in and uh, you know, it's, it's exciting and I'm, I'm going to enjoy the ride. You know, last year was a season in which a lot of young players, you know, you could see the development over the course of the year and, uh, and see their growth. Um, now a bunch of veteran players have come in, you know, and you've got sort of, you know, what most teams would like is one veteran and, and, and one, you know, talented youngster at most positions. Yeah. How beneficial is that for the young players now that they're going to be exposed it's, to, it's to these world-class guys? Big time. Um, you know, this, this is going to only help help their game. Um, they're going to learn off the, these players. Um, they're going to gain a wealth of knowledge from them. Um, and, and just see how these, you know, the, the older pros train week in and week out. Um, there's no better guys to, to learn and trade than off of these guys that we have now that, that have come in. So these young boys are excited as well. They're looking forward to it. And um, you know, among the acquisitions that came back is your former Canadian international teammate Dwayne Guerrero. Yeah. I'm sure you've had a chance to speak with him. How excited is he about the upcoming season and uh, you know his second go around with Toronto? FC. Dwayne, Dwayne's really excited. Um, you know, that's one of the first things he said. He goes, "This is this is amazing." He goes, "I'm you know I'm really looking forward to it." And uh, we, we've had some good chats about it. So, uh, you know, the, the guys can see where this club's going, and, and everybody wants to be a part of it. Now. So it's uh, he's excited for it. And, uh, he's uh, he's up for the challenge. Uh, looking forward to the season and uh, the Canadian Championship tournament. Uh, you know, another former teammate is now a head coach in the MLS, Carl That's Robinson. Right, yeah. Are you uh, looking forward to when Toronto faces off against uh, Vancouver? And have you spoken to Carl about uh, you know his move to the head coaching position? Yeah, no, I, I, I texted Carl as soon as he got it and said congratulations. Um, you know, that's what he wanted to do. Um, so you know, I, I wish him well. I hope he does uh, does very well out in Vancouver. Um, but, but I mean, at the end of the day, when we play them, I hope uh, I hope we uh, we get the win. And one final question for you. Obviously, on paper, the team looks great. Um, there's now the question of gelling and, and putting everything together. What are the important things for this club over the next few weeks as you try and make this a, go from a team on paper to a team that's cohesive on the pitch? It's, it's, it's not easy. It's hard work. Um, but we feel we, we've got a great staff. And uh, we, to be honest, we've we got a great bunch of guys. Um, you know, they, they're gelling together already. They've got great camaraderie. Um, you know, they, uh, they, even in training, you can see they're fighting for each other. They're working hard for each other. So uh, we, we know that's not going to be a problem. All we got to do is just prepare them and get them, uh, get them ready for that first game of the season. Thanks very much, Jim. Okay.